Hello, my name is Karis Heinegger and I'm about to enter my final year of study in the industry. So before I start, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Walsh & Bick for funding my Otago Medical Research Foundation scholarship and providing me with the opportunity to do research over summer. For my summer research project, I decided to look at how changes inside the mouth might transfer to facial soft tissue changes outside, which everyone can see. Determining the correct vertical dimension and maxilla-mandibular relation is one of the most important steps in several dental disciplines in order to achieve adequate aesthetics and function. Orthodontic treatment, dentures, tooth grinding and bite splints, which are all common dental problems, can all affect this vertical relationship between the upper and lower teeth. So the aim of my research was to investigate the face changes when the jaw is at rest position then going into biting position, which we did using this pretty cool 3D facial scanner by taking two images, superimposing them and comparing the difference. Then we also wanted to know whether different facial features such as long face, short face, overbite, crossbite, class 2, class 3 and so on affect the changes that we observe. Now, why are we interested in how much facial soft tissue changes we can see? Well, the answer is simple, because to some extent, we all care about the way we look. That's why we're trying to find whether we can quantitatively predict the facial changes when changing someone's vertical dimension between the upper and lower jaw. This is of interest to both dentists and patients, as this may influence the treatment planning process.